Hello, my name's Evelyn. I was born in Liverpool in 1930. Uh, I had uh, two older brothers and uh, two younger brothers than me. But I'm going back from when, in, in 1939 when the war started and um, I, I, we were evacuated, my, two of my brothers at the time and myself, to a place called Weaverham in North, near Northwich in, in Cheshire. And um, anyway, we were walking along this road going towards the local railway station and mother was walking up the side of us crying <coughs> and the, 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 the schoolmaster was saying, don't worry, don't worry to my mother. He said, they'll be back in a fortnight. L little did we know. But anyway, um, we ended up in this place in, in Weaverham, in the school, the village hall. And uh, we were all given a, a carrier bag. And in this carrier bag, there was a bar of chocolates, a tin of conioni, which was condensed milk. Can't, uh, can't remember what else. But um, anyway, we were, we were sitting there and this lady came up to me. And uh, she says, um, you know, I, I want two little girls, she said. Uh, so there was another little girl sitting by me and her brothers were sitting by my brothers and I said to said to her oh no I'm with my brothers I want to be with my brothers anyway she she was sort of went away again and then um, she she came back again with a with a teacher or, or a bulletin officer I think they were called then and she said how about you going with this with this girl um, to this lady's house and, and her brother can go with your brothers. So, I mean, I was only nine and I had no option, but I just had to do as I was told. And um, anyway, off we went. And it was quite a nice house that we were billeted in. It was nicer than the one we had in Liverpool, but uh, it was it was like a semi-detached. And um, anyway, her name was Mrs. Jones and uh, but anyway, we went, went. We were living in this house, but this girl was. I was just nine. I was nine on the on the first of September, and but she was thirteen, and really she was. Um, she was a. I, I suppose now I would say she was a bully to me, and I I was a bit frightened of her, and I did whatever she said, <coughs> and um, anyway. Uh, after after a while, uh, that was that was in uh, that was in September nineteen thirty nine, and then I think it got to round. It must have after Christmas. Oh, I know right now. At Christmas time, um, this girl Ivy said to me, "Should we should we see what Mrs Jones has got us for Christmas?" And I was terrified that she was go going to uh, ask ask me that you know. Uh, to go along with her, but I, I just had to. And um, anyway, she we went in the front room. Mrs. Jones was out. We went in the front room, and she started pulling all the chairs out and the big city and the back of this city. There's little parcels. Uh, I think they they were for us for Christmas. And I know there was a little handbag, and in the handbag there was a little little string of pearls, and a little bottle of scent and things, little things that little girls like. And while we were there, Mrs. Jones walked in on us. I've never been so frightened in my life. And uh, she says, she she played hell with us. And she was really shouting. I think she knew that, that this girl Ivy had manipulated me, but you know, she, she, she couldn't really say much. And um, anyway, uh, we were there for Christmas. And uh, our parents used to come on a Sunday uh, when they when they they could. We used to go down to this little village green, wait for the bus to come from Liverpool for, with with the parents on it. Sometimes there was nobody came, and we were just waiting there. Other times that they, they they did you know they did come or or my mother came. Um, my father came now and again, and. Um, Anyway, going going along a bit now, past 
in the early 1940s. I think it was 1940s, or maybe 1941 now, I'm not sure. <clears throat> and we were, uh, she, this girl said to me, do you want to go home? And I said, yes I do. And she said, well when you write your letter, because each week we had to write a letter home to our parents, and we had to give it to Mrs Jones to read. And then uh, she gave it back to us and then we posted it. So anyway, she said, do you want, do you want to, um, she said, well, after you've written your letter, she said, give it to Mrs Jones to read. And then when she gives it back, just write on the bottom of the letter that you want to come home. So I said, all right, did as I was told. And um, anyway, the next thing, what the next thing, um, a letter came. Uh, from Liverpool and my father sent two and six postal order uh, the instructions to put me on a train to Liverpool and um, and then, then they would meet me at the other end and uh, anyway that's what they did so I was there for the the May Blitz I think that I don't know that, that I think that might have been 1941 and I, I was at home and it was a really really bad time in Liverpool and the, the streets when you looked up in there there's planes flying overhead bombs dropping and the sky was alight with it was just red all over it was just lit up all over the, the city and the, I think it was on the docks because we lived near the docks and the docks were, all, they were after all the ships in the docks and they were all on, on you know being bombed and uh, anyway, then I got a letter from Mrs. Jones to say that Ivy had left. Would I like to go back and um, and and you know to 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 carry out say stay longer? So anyway, I did go back. Then I sat the um, they used to call it the review. Then you had to have a review for the um, to sit for the scholarship, and if you pass this review. Then you were then you were able to sit the, sit for the scholarship. Anyway, um, so so I did, and anyway, a letter came from uh, Liverpool from the, my mother. Well, it went to Liverpool, to, and I I would got a what they called a bear ship then to go to Saint Edmunds in Prince's Park, which was quite a a, a good academic school. And um, anyway, but I was supposed to be in Liverpool to, to sit the entrance examination for the school. But I think if I'd, have, if I'd have passed all that, I think I would have passed this entrance exam. But when the letter came to Liverpool, my father said, oh, forget about it. He said, let her, just let her, let her. Because my brother sat, he I was, a, I was 11, well, I, was, I would have been 11 going to the school. And my brother sat the 13, 13 plus exam to go to the TTI in Egbeth, which was the Toxteth Technical Institute. And um, anyway, uh, so my father said, oh, just forget about it. But my mother forwarded the letter on to, to, um, to Weaverham. I think it went to the, the school. And instead of them just coming home and trying to get me into this school, when she said, oh, well, when next time I go to Liverpool, I'll go to the education offices. And they got me in a school called the Arundel Avenue Central School, which was quite a good school, but not, not nearly, it was a commercial college, not like the school that I had been, uh, you know, I had been allocated, really. But um, anyway, I, I came... Uh, I came home then to go to the school and um, so, so, you know, so uh, and I knew quite a lot of the, lost the, my friends that were going to this school so, so that, you know, we, it was all right then. Oh, bye for now. I'll, I'll continue sometime.